All right, to add a second direct deposit account for an employee, we're gonna go to employee pay and then direct deposit, or you can simply search the menu here for direct deposit. It'll take you to the same spot. We're gonna go ahead and click on our employee. Now you'll see in our previous video, we added this single direct deposit account for Wilma. If we want to add a second direct deposit account, there's a couple changes that are going to need to be made. First of all, we're going to go ahead and add our new account. So the same things apply for the statuses. You have the active, inactive, and pre note status. Again, the active status means that the direct deposit will be effective for the next pay period. Inactive status means that the account is no longer valid for direct deposit. And pre note means that a deposit of zero dollars will be made to this account to validate the account number. If the, if the bank says nothing back saying account is invalid, the account will be active for the following pay period. So we're gonna go ahead and make this active. Now the account type, since we already have a checking account for Wilma, we're gonna say that she has now a savings account that she wants to add. Now the sequence is gonna be where you add your um, sequence on how you want it direct deposited. So if Wilma has a savings account and let's say that she wants 50% to go to her savings and that the remaining, again, remaining net going to checking, we're simply gonna make this the first sequence. And that means that this sequence will happen first and then the rest will go into the checking account. So we can uh, make the sequence one Again, frequency, we can leave that at every pay. Now, like I said, we want 50% to go to this account before everything goes to, or I should say not everything, the remaining 50 goes to the checking. So we can make this 50%. We're going to go ahead, enter the routing number. Again, enter the account number for the savings account. And then if you want to add the description, you can definitely go ahead and do so. Once we do that, we can simply hit save. And you'll then see that Wilma has two accounts, a savings account that will happen first in the first sequence and 50% of her net pay will go to her savings account. And then after that 50%, the remaining net will then go to her checking account. 